What is happening, y'all? Welcome on You've got back. three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. Ooh. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. We got three months, basically. Uh, so big thanks to Square for the game, of course. Uh, a couple of y'all have been mentioning that the frame rate has not been good. Uh, I had the game in quality mode. I just you know, completely slipped my mind. So I know we are in performance mode now. Hopefully this smooths out the frame rate issue that folks have been mentioning. Um, went back and watched the episodes. I do think that the the audio tweak we made, that 20% drop, also helped. Uh, but either way, we're going to continue on. So far, reception to this feels a little, uh, a little lukewarm. A lot of y'all aren't feeling it just yet. But you know what? I'm going to give it a couple episodes here. If it turns out that nobody's enjoying it, we can drop it and go to a different game. But for now, at least, we are going to continue our journey in Guardians. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 9,000 units is a small price. 9,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's going to shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you going to let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. Mm. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I wonder if the fine would have been set the same if I uh, had managed to like pick to hide either the, the llama What's or the, the tech. It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Open this door! Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean,. Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always a out on us, My well. figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains. Yeah. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. 
Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. Mm. It was brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and... Totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or <laughs> weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Down this looks pretty bad. out before we finish the transaction we're like a hundred clicks from her base you know how much I like scoping nope next time I'm flying monsters do not fly ships monsters do whatever they want don't you get all gloomy right now it don't help because your constant complaining does <laughs> You, you are complaining about the short one complaining. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. At least we'll have time to think about our sales pitch. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must 
Face Lady of Hellbender's Rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. I have just my basically have to have my back to something. Everyone okay? We should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am the Jello Monster. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rudy. Right? Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. But ah! Is a hold, um, but tapping L1 to bring up their menu I think makes more sense. around here looks like we are outside lady hellbender's sanctuary the creatures here are not her pets the food. 
sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she go? No spells, cheap stuff. Words to live by. There's a trail going through the jungle! Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. I gotta get ahead! Try not to kill yourself on the way up! There they are! All right, Rocket. That wing control panel is all yours. If it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Clark, that don't sound like no jelly. Go this way first. You say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. Cut it down. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Yeah. Name is Lady. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with him, we'll have to start showing some respect. This from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn is the first. <laughs> what about her sister Nebula? Hmm. I forgot about the blue Harlot Spawn. Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous. Can we focus here? Are you frightened of monsters, Peter? Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. This jungle is majestic. Everything's trying to kill you sort of way, sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to die <laughs> in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! He'll be fine, just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's okay, he'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut must an act! I am not familiar with words. Filthy grunt scum, but I don't think he's making them up. Blocks. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free bag and flark hole. At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man. Ram it, fast face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> the group's like, uh, I do understand money. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter. Trying to. 
So far, I think the, they did a really good job with the writing. Gameplay is pretty simple, but I think the dialogue's carrying it. I gotta go back and get the other red thing I saw. Do not be so sure. They say Lady Hellbender has eyes everywhere. Of course they do. Remember another one of those things back near the right I think it was like right before we threw rockets, so it shouldn't be that far back. Once we, uh, once we get to the point where we have other, uh, what was that? I just got a prompt to hit, uh, alright, so I get a dodge warning before stuff is going to smack me. I don't know what the, uh, the triangle and circle prompt was. Ability points. So when I get ability points, can I just spend them on anybody? Also, a grenade. Drawing others towards the initial target's position. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's do that. So I could throw the gravity grenade and then, uh, do that into Groot's root into a, a cluster bomb. Let's check out the other, other abilities, too. Doing moderate damage to enemies in range, launching small enemies into the air. Okay, it's not bad. Peter gets rapid fire blaster shots, heavy damage. Oh, wow. Yeah, I should save for that. That seems like my, my high DPS option. Striking each one once, dealing moderate damage. If only one enemy is present, she'll attack it several times. Not bad. Moderate damage to all enemies in the line. That seems a bit situational. That's probably like the last one I'll pick up. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units, says it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. 
No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Drax, wanna clear a path? Or am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Now what's the whole thing? Fear. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Just go. No! You just go. go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. <laughs> Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. I think they should just use Groot to make a bridge. Easy does it. Oh, what is that? That doesn't look good. That looks like a, something that has a mouth. Groot says there's something down there. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Yep, definitely saw the giant cat. Oh. These these jumps are depressing at times. Jelly boys. I got it. Oh, that's cool. It freezes it and then it eats the jello boys. Health marker. Someone who's at multiple health bars is indicated by markers above the gauge. When you complete one health bar, its marker vanishes, revealing the next. Once all markers are gone, the enemy's last health bar appears. Alright, well, we made it up to a boss battle. Um, but this seems like a good point to break because this might take me a minute to get through. Uh, you know, just knowing my, my skill with this game. So, anyway, stay tuned. We will continue with the boss battle tomorrow and go on from there. I'll see y'all soon.